Since receiving the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in Stockholm, Sweden last December, Dr. John Finn has little time for chemistry. Now a celebrity in high demand, the 86-year-old scientist spends less time conducting research and more time conducting personal appearances. At this plaque dedication ceremony, Berea College honors their prize-winning graduate 66 years after his graduation. It's wonderful to see, for those of us who are in the academy, student and faculty member handing down knowledge and then students often excelling their mentors. And for us who are the mentors, we're delighted when our students excel what we've taught them. And I think John Fenn is one of those people. This is in many ways much more important and rewarding to me this occasion than uh, the occasion in Stockholm. Thank you all for being here. Thank all the members of the faculty, the student body, for making this really one of the highest points in my life, if not the highest point in my life. While the legend of how a struggling ninth grade algebra student later won the Nobel Prize will often echo in these halls, Finn's legacy will forever be known as the chemist whose technique for moving large molecules is like making elephants fly. It's analogous to what happens when a beam of white light passes through a quartz prism and gets spread into all the component colors. So a beam of ions passed through a magnetic field gets spread into a uh, a, a fan of trajectories whose angle is a measure of the mass of those ions. Dr. Finn's electrospray ionization technique has dramatically benefited the development of pharmaceuticals, the detection of certain cancers, and improvements in forensic science. As Finn joins the exclusive chemistry club with such notables as Marie Curie and Otto Hahn, he says it's most rewarding to know his research helps humanity. Quite an accomplishment for a high school student who ignored his algebra teacher's advice to never become a scientist. In Madison County, this is Jay Buckner reporting.